Now, a revolution betrayed, says Peter Hitchens, in relation to the destruction of grammar schools, the system that was uh, introduced in the UK about 60 years ago. Shirley Williams and co systematically ripped up a system that took talented working class kids and thrust them into higher at the echelons of British society. I wonder why the likes of journalism, the arts and politics are dominated by cut glass accents, much more so than they were a few generations ago. Well, we've got William Clouston, leader of the SDP, and fresh from an interview with Mr Hitchens in the studio to discuss just that. Uh, William, you're not in the studio, I lied, uh, but it's good to talk to you. William, what's happened to our education system over the last few decades? Uh, reforms that were meant to sort of reduce inequality have actually uh, done exactly the opposite, haven't they? Yeah, I think I think Peter Hitchens is largely right. Um, and it's a very good book, by the way, worth buying and reading. Uh, and not for the first time he's right about an important issue. Yeah, I mean, basically, the grammar schools were revolutionary. Uh, they created excellent schools. Um, they were available to uh, children on merit which was key. And, and basically, they caused competition at the, at the top. Um, they create, effectively created a new class. There was nothing that scared an old Herobian or an uh, old Etonian at Ox Oxford or Cambridge in the 50s or 60s than a very uh, clever grammar school boy. And it often was a grammar school boy, not a girl. But they, they yeah, they, it was a revolution that didn't last very long. Um, it was basically 20 years, 1945 to 1965. And in 65, they stopped uh, the system. I mean, there were a lot of problems with it. I mean, there weren't enough grammar schools for a start. They were patchy and unevenly spread throughout the country. And uh, people did object to um, early selection. Um, it's not really a question. I mean, it's interesting, the question of selection, because no one objects to selection mm. uh, in principle, really, because you have it at 16 and 18. After all, you, have to, you get selected to go to university. The problem was early selection uh, in many people's eyes. Mm -hmm. And it's odd because it was uh, Anthony Crossland, who's a, a Labour politician, who decided that he was going to get rid of these things. And he said it would literally be, if, he, if it's the last thing he does, he's going to make sure that happens. That's putting it very politely. But the Conservative, yes. Party have, uh, uh, but the Conservative Party have sort of made murmurs that they don't want to carry on the system of grammar schools either. And Sir Keir Starmer has been talking about, you know, trying to level the playing field, as in levelling down and getting rid of private um, schools. It seems, to me, it seems a very backward thing to want to sort of dumb down on getting people to, uh, the merit of people. Is that, you know, this should be a good thing. A grammar school does bring people who couldn't usually afford... Um, to get into the mm. bigger schools. Surely that's a good thing. I don't understand why there's this, this sort of thing to try and get rid of them. Yeah, well, you have a few uh, left in Kent and, and Northern Ireland has grammar schools as well. Um, you know, but it, it, it's a pretense, really, to, to suggest that you can have uh, excellence without some form of selection. Now, I, what I really object to, Nana, is that we have a selection now. You know, you, let's wake up. You have selection by wealth. Uh, you know, leafy suburbs, very, very good comprehensives, herding, uh, you know, and there's nothing in the universe as sharp uh, as the elbows of middle class parents that want good education for their kids. And they're right to. But don't pretend. Let's not pretend that we have a sort of uh, free access system that, that makes the most of every of all the talents. We really don't. Eighty percent of the comprehensives in this country send virtually no one to Oxbridge. So what we have, we've replaced a system of grammar schools, which were, um, you know, obvious in their selection by merit. We've replaced that with selection by wealth via house prices, which is slightly dishonest, I think. I don't know further. I don't believe. I mean, Keir Starmer can say can have a crack at, uh, uh, you know, fee paying schools if he likes. But actually, if you look at the social structure, a lot of the people sending their kids to comps in, in very leafy areas are actually more middle class than some of the oh. independent schools uh, in, in the big cities, which are very uh, diverse, actually. And a lot of the parents work very hard to send their kids there.